Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to remove overlap and create your own hole sewing using the text, the built-in text fonts in Brother PE Design 10. So we'll get right into it. First thing we want to do is to place our letter and I will fast forward that so you don't have to watch me place it. Okay, now that I have my letter where I want it behind my design, I'm going to select it. And just real quick, I'll show you so you don't have your modify overlap or remove overlap options that you normally have because it is a font. So even, even if you select everything, you still doesn't give you the options. So I'm just going to make sure that my letter is selected, select it, and then we're going to go to the text tab and then click convert to stitches over here in the middle right side. Then after I convert to stitches, just make sure your letter is still selected and then go to the stitches tab and click split stitches. Now, once you do that, it will show you where your overlap is so you can only split where it's overlapping. Um, whenever it's halfway covered for satin stitching, I do not usually cut out the half, you know, the partial area just because it does thin out the satin stitching that remains in that area. Like even if I delete this little thing, it's hard to see on the preview, but it does thin out these stitches over here. Um, see if we can zoom in and see that. Oh, it's, it's hard to see, but trust me, or you can do a test stitching to see how you like it. Maybe it's good, you know, for what you need, um, but I'm not gonna do it for mine. So I'm gonna control Z that and make sure I select my letter again. And I'm gonna go to stitches split stitches, and now I'm just going to cut my stitching out here that's underneath my fox so that no one will see, so I don't have a bunch of stitching overlap. Alright, so all I have left is this little leaf up here, but to make it easier for me, I'm going to go back to my stitches tab. I'm going to right click my split stitches and add it to my quick access toolbar. So that way I can just click there instead of going through that tab every time. And now I can just click that box and cut out my stitches underneath my leaf. So if there's anything else, any other little things that you want to know how to do in PE Design 10, leave them in the comments below. I'll read all the comments. And real quick, we'll show you a stitching of this. I'm going to select my O and push the play button so you can see where it cuts out both my places for my leaf and my fox to sit. And that's it. We cut out all of our holes and removed overlap in Brother PE Design 10. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram and also inspiredapplique.com for all of our products. So again, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.